Okay, so I'm like one of the worst vloggers ever because um, I took a bunch of videos. I was finally getting back to vlogging after like um, six months of a break. And I took like what I would say is half of a vlog episode of videos. And I meant to the next day I was gonna finish it and there was a few updates that I meant to give and things like that and I never got around to it. And it's been like a week. So you probably already, hopefully you already watched part one of this of this uh, vlog. Now this is part two. So if you haven't watched part one, um, I'll put a link and definitely go watch that because that gives a lot of updates over what's happened over the last like six months of our life. And then now this is part two. So I'm gonna finish this update video. And in my defense, it has been a very long time and there's a lot to talk about um, since I last vlogged. So let's start with our new puppies. So, one of the updates I didn't get to in the last video was the fact that we have now two new puppies that we are going to raise and keep for our breeding program. Zuki! This is Zuki. She's a born and a puppy and she's strong and well, I know that yet, I think. So Suki is a tricolor Bernadoodle. You can see her brown. <laughs> She's so fun and friendly. Okay, so Suki is a tricolor Bernadoodle, F1 Bernadoodle. So her puppies will be F1B. She's about three months. We got her when she was eight weeks old, but she's about three months now. And um, we got her from a great person in Indiana. So we're really excited to add her to our breeding program, especially because we have so many people that want F1B puppies. Um, Suki has been a dream to train. She started sleeping in her crate all night from day one, and she has been awesome about potty training. This is Mika, and she's a born and new puppy. Bernie's mountain dog. Bernie's mountain dog. All right, you can let her go. Oh. And she does not like to be hold. I have a blue eye, if you can see that. It might be hard to see. She has See. one blue eye. Um, yeah, so Minka is an, a Bernese Mountain Dog, so we'll breed her to Winston, and so her puppies will be F1 puppies, just like Akira and Denali's. Tell me about Suki and Minka. Minka is strong and they are born and she and Minka has a blue eye and you can't really see it. What about Suki? And Suki has brown eyes and she has white and brown. Hmm. And <laughs> and they are boarding good old mount mountain dog. <laughs> good job. Another update that I am not really that excited to give is about our garden. So you might remember back in, I think it was March, that I talked about all my big plans for this amazing garden, um, using permaculture ideas and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, well, um, I found out I was pregnant and then I got really, really, really sick, like puking three times a day. 
And yeah, the garden, I had no energy for it. And it was like, I gave up. It was, you know, I planted a bunch of stuff and then I left it. So here it is. It is really sad looking. But you know what, despite the fact that it is a weedy mess, and um, yeah, 90% of it is weeds. I will say we, we have been able to harvest a few things and um, for an absolute zero maintenance garden, it has worked for us this year. We've had a few good, you know, things to harvest and next year we'll do better. So I have some late season green beans growing. I'm excited about those. This was the bed where I had all kinds of like lettuce and radishes, which over here, this weed patch, is a bunch of the radish, lettuce, um, stuff like that that I let go to seed um, that I was gonna collect the seeds from. So I, I might still do that and dry them for next year. So we'll see. I was able to successfully plant some flowers, so that was exciting. There are sweet potato vines kind of scattered throughout the garden. I don't know if it was warm enough this summer or if we'll have a long enough season to actually harvest anything from them, but um, I think they're pretty and they make a good ground cover, so those are scattered throughout the garden. This section of garden is where we planted tomatoes and bell peppers and some different herbs and stuff. Um, yeah, this is the area that got most out of control. We never did put up tomato cages, so our tomatoes are basically just rotting on the ground. But um, we have been able to find some that were still good, and I planted so many tomato plants that there's no way we would have been able to use all the tomatoes anyway. What you got? I got a bunch of different kinds of flowers. Pretty. These might be the same, because I found them on the same plant. Cool. This area is what I would say was the most successful area of our garden. Um, this is where we planted potatoes, broccoli, and cabbage. So we already harvested the potatoes and oh my goodness that was so much fun. We harvested so many pounds of potatoes. Broccoli, we've harvested most of the broccoli. And then there's the cabbage, which is finally starting to actually form into cabbage. I only planted purple cabbage, mostly because I just thought they were pretty and I like the taste. Um, next year, I hopefully will be able to plant different types of cabbage. And this was our original garden plot, which we um, had a couple years ago. And <laughs> Yeah, like everything else, it's covered in weeds. The idea was that we were gonna plant corn here, but the corn got eaten by animals. So we have a few sad corn stalks that have been trying to grow some corn. I don't know if we'll actually be able to eat it. I think it's probably not gonna be very good. But um, a few that kind of survived and only got to be about four feet tall because they kept getting eaten by deer. So yeah, while I'm sad that it was not a very successful gardening year, and we did waste kind of a lot of money with, by um, a loss of plants and stuff. But um, I did not plan on having another baby and did not plan on spending months and months peeking my brains out. So that's just what happens. And we will learn from this year and move on from this year. And next year, hopefully it'll be better. We did plant a lot of perennial plants like asparagus and um, that rhubarb that I showed you. So hopefully next year things will come up Ne and um, be good. Oh, strawberries. I planted lots of strawberries. So next year, we'll have some good harvest because of that effort that I put in earlier this year. I remember what you
has happened since the last vlog episode, since part one of this vlog episode, is that Miss Reagan actually had her puppies. She is no longer expecting. Okay, so Reagan had 10 puppies. They're beautiful and healthy. So these are F1B Golden Doodle puppies. And um, Winston is the dad, so we got a little bit of color. Not as much as last time, but that is totally fine. Um, most of them are creams and reds, as you can see, uh, which is great. I, we really like the classic Golden Doodle colors. She had these puppies yesterday, and it was the most smooth, wonderful labor and delivery. I mean, she is just such a good, experienced mama. She knows how to do this and she does such a good job. So it was a very pleasant day of having puppies and now she's taking such good care of them. So we named these this litter after soda. So this is the soda litter. I want to introduce you to some of the puppies um, and just show you some of the different colors. So this is the firstborn. This one is Mr. Pepsi. And so as you can see, he is a nice cream colored puppy. But what is unique about him is Oh, he's so wiggly. He's got this huge white patch on his chest. So we haven't had that before in our golden doodles. So that's kind of fun. Um, he will lighten up in general, so that it might not be super visible. It's kind of cool while well, it's there. Sorry, Mama. I'll give him back. This one is Cola. So he is one of the redder colored puppies. And um, he doesn't have any white. But he's cute. So I just want to show you the difference between a red puppy and a white puppy. So look at that color difference. We have one black puppy in this litter. Last time she had puppies with Winston, she had... Hey guys, um, don't let Suki in here. And it, you need, if you come in here, you have to be super quiet. I will. Okay. Okay, so last time, half of Reagan's puppies were black from her last litter with Winston. This. This time we only have one little black girl. So um, this one is Squirt. She's a girl. She's got a tiny bit of white on her chin and white back feet. But she's super cute. So that's Squirt. And then we have two Merle puppies. So Winston, since he's a Merle poodle, he can have, um, we can have some Merle puppies with him. Okay, so. As you can see, we have a chocolate, they're super wiggly. We have a chocolate Merle and a silver Merle. So this is our first chocolate Merle puppy we've ever had. Um, the chocolate is a boy, and the silver is a girl. Um, this one's name is Root Beer. The boy is Root Beer. Hold on. The boy is Root Beer, and the girl is 7-Up. She was the seventh puppy of this litter. So just to show the difference of color. You're so wiggly. Also, the male has a nice big white patch on his chest, which is really cool. So that's root beer. Blair, what do you think of the puppies? Good. Do you love them? Hold on to them. Don't let them fall down. Also, since the last time I took videos, of uh, part one. Um, these puppies have grown and changed so much in the last week. So now they are walking, they're playing, they are sort of using the litter boxes, getting better at it every day. They're not so lazy. Same with the Bernadoodle puppies. We will hopefully get some training videos of them later on today. That was talk voice.
this one. And we are the one that makes the cheese. You go, guys. So for our last update of all the updates, the goats are now in the backyard. So they are no longer in the side yard. We're using that for the puppies now. We were able to successfully incorporate the goats with the dogs in the big backyard.